Hi, my name is Javid Butt and I'm from the Department of Cardiology, Copenhagen University Hospital, Rijs Hospital in Denmark. So I'm here to talk about one of the studies that has been published in JAK. It's a post hoc analysis of the Paragon EGF trial on the effects of sacubitril velsartan compared with velsartan in the Paragon EGF trial. Now we all know that frailty is a global health burden and it's increasing and it has substantial implications not only for the patients but also for the society as a whole. Frailty is common in heart failure and both of these conditions increases the likelihood and worsens the prognosis of the other. Now frail patients they may be more likely to discontinue treatment and to experience adverse events. On the other hand clinicians may be more reluctant towards initiating these therapies in frail patients because they have concerns about a less efficacy of new drugs in frail patients. So we did perform, uh, to address this issue, we did perform a post hoc analysis of the Paragon HF trial. Now the Paragon HF trial enrolled patients with heart failure and preserved ejection fraction and randomized them to succubitral valsartan or valsartan. The primary endpoint was a total heart failure hospitalizations or cardiovascular death. Now in the main study, succubitral valsartan did not significantly reduce the primary endpoint. So in the present study, we uh, looked at the effects across frailty groups. Now we use the Rockwood cumulative deficit approach to assess frailty. This is one of the two golden standard methods. Uh, and what we found was that approximately 55% of the study population were deemed as being frail. Now what the main findings of this study were that the effects of sacubitril valsartan were entirely consistent, irrespective of frailty class when examined when the frailty index was examined as a categorical variable. However, we also examined the effects of sacubitril valsartan uh, according to frailty index as a continuous variable, and there we found a significant interaction in that patients with greater levels of frailty had a substantially greater benefit of sacubitril valsartan. With respect to the safety profile, the safety profile of sacubitril valsartan was really good even in patients who were very frail. So all, all of these data are now available online in Jack. Thank you.